You fought the rest? Now try the best! Moon, watch the main man video on Yoshi? Yeah, I have it right here. I have it open. How dare the main man talk about my character? The $50 dono. I hear you're out here dissing us Yoshi mains. We don't take too kindly to that main man. The Kin Tech Trap. Yoshi launches you into the air like this. And then if you do not stay on the ground, you do anything to get up from the ground, the kin will hit you. I think guard breaks as a whole should be removed. And I think Yoshimitsu is a good example why at Hayachi, his guard break, 1-1-2 wall splat, then you get a full combo off of it. It's the same thing. Like all of that is trash and it should be removed. And this is the problem with Shaoyu as well. They decided, the developers, that everyone should have high damage. I, I think they gave everyone high damage because high damage is a comeback mechanic in a way. The developers literally said it themselves. They gave these characters powerful moves to, so low ranked players can be high ranked players. You get a guard break heat activation something combo and then you do another combo the round's over there is no skills there everyone can kill with two combos and that it all begins with one powerful attack the way that this game was made is very intentional and and players feel it and they know it now and that's why a lot of people are not happy with this game because one powerful attack leads to two overpowered combos and you die no matter what the character is and it's absurd step number two that also elevates him very high in the tiers is the fact that he can manipulate his own health bar. Thanks for the dono, one. Two, that's where they got Yoshimitsu's healing from. The way that Yoshimitsu heals in Tekken 8 comes from Soul Calibur. And uh, I wonder what it is about Tekken 8 that makes it so broken. The reason people are crying is because he has the ability to rush you down, uh, but you can't rush him down. He also uh, heals. We'll see, and I think that's a problem with Tekken 8 as a whole. I think Tekken 8 forced Yoshimitsu to be a rush down, and he is not supposed to be a rush down. You cannot make him a rush down and keep the flash and if you take away the flash he's no longer yoshi they need to keep him a turtle it's going to stack recoverable health why does he always go behind and permanent do you see that do you see this yeah that's stupid that's stupid they they, they need to okay i'm going to skip past this part because that, that's so frustrating to me they need to stop doing that with yoshi mitsu they need to make him a, a turtle again opponent is launched hit down two two down to two and now here there's nothing the opponent can do but why did they make the game like this oh my god this is why i don't play technique and i'm a yoshi i'm a yoshi main and i don't like playing this game bro it's it's why would they do that this game is not supposed to be like this if you stay on the ground steel pedal but if you tech crawl he's not gonna 50 50 you with a mid roll low as soon as you tech rolled, it's already over. You have been launched yet again. Maybe the move is busted. Because I'm trying to think of a way to allow this move to stay the way that it is. But maybe it is just time for the low unblockable tech at the wall to cease to exist, right? Because I said I've been doing this for as, like, as long as I rem could remember. But maybe it's busted. Maybe it is its time. You know, nothing lasts forever. Maybe it's time for the low unblockable tech to uh, cease to exist, you know? I think it's obvious. Anyone who tries to downplay Yoshimitsu is, is obviously can't be trusted, you know? Like, I, I, I joke around from time to time, and I like to have fun, obviously. But when you're being serious, when you're being honest, like, you got to look at what Yoshimitsu does and say not only is he a horrible character balanced character but also this guy is is a a prime example of why Tekken 8 as a whole is frustrating what you have to understand about flash is that you're playing under the threat of rage art the entire time at all times when you play against yoshi you should know that yoshimitsu will flash you after pretty much anything you do after that hatchet kick can be flashed there's certain situations like that where you know like okay i do this move don't press no buttons at all because Yoshimitsu will flash me, right? That's obvious. But then there's other times where like Yoshimitsu will flash a jab. He'll flash like just the most randomest stuff ever. So there is this weird duality where some of the things you can lap and be prepared for. But then other times you just like get clapped. <laughs> you just get clapped. And it's like, wait, what? <laughs> okay. All right. I guess I'm dead now. Just like I, I, I demonstrated right now with... With Brian, it's this constant, can I take my turn? That's something that's very frustrating to me. I think it's a cool mechanic, but it never feels earned on the opposite side. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You'll do a hatchet like this. 
like this and then do nothing and be like, oh, is he gonna flash? And I was just talking about the hatchet setup. I was literally just talking about the hatchet. It's like the oldest flash set setup in the book. He does this and, and you just wanna kill yourself. I think as both players get stronger or better, the matchup gets better. Like if you take two orange ranks, Brian and Yoshi, I think Yoshi wins that. But when you take a tech god, Brian and Yoshi, uh it's like incredible yes you can flash immediately after the hatchet but the brian fury player at that level will know that and they will not press a button and if you flash they're going to taunt jet upper but you know that they know that you know you know what i mean it's like that kind of game so i thought it was like a really fun thing to play around it's like uh am i going to flash are they going to press a button because they think i'm not going to flash type of situation i don't know maybe me as the yoshimitsu i view it as fun but maybe the brian fairy player is very annoyed i don't know i'm not in their perspective in their shoes but i do think the lower down in, in ranks you go the matchup more favors yoshi but the higher up in matchups you go uh the brian fairy player with like learning the matchup and being more aware of you know knowing how to play the game it changes now try and defend this move the, the victor part blew my mind hey wait do you guys feel like i'm defending yoshi at this point bro i don't i don't know what is and what is not defending yoshi now look at my nss here uh, again victor is safe at minus nine <laughs> But, but so is is he saying that that should not work that way? I don't know if I would agree that 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 move should not be flash punishable like that. I don't know too much about this move. We'll see what main man has to say more about this individual attack. But another attack that comes to mind is Tekken 7 Lucky Chloe. Lucky Chloe and Tekken 7 had the Kali roll. Everyone knows how powerful that move was. But Yoshimitsu with his flash was able to punish it. He was the only character who would look at Lucky Chloe, turn around, and start licking his lips. He was like, I dare you to Cali roll. Up until basically the 5.0 update, Yoshimitsu flash punished the Cali roll. And you can argue that's OP, but I think that's just the character being like unique. I think every character is supposed to be unique. And Yoshimitsu is like, you know, punishing minus six attacks. I don't see that as a problem, but it depends on how much he gains from it. If he is gaining too much from that while also not risking anything, I think it's a problem. You know how with low parries you can't screw? Maybe they do that with the flash where you can't screw off the combo. You guys are presenting me with these issues and going into it, I don't even consider it an issue. And not because I'm downplaying my character or something. It's just because like I don't even I didn't even know people would look at the this move. I, first off, I didn't even know this specific move was possible. But other examples of the move, I didn't even know that Yoshimitsu flash punishing Lucky Chloe's Cali roll is some egregious thing that needs to be addressed i didn't know i didn't know players felt that way flash could very well be the best move in the game but i think it is you almost have to anticipate that i'm gonna do a flash like it's very hard to launch that on reaction yeah and that's what i was saying too right so the flash is minus uh like 15 or something it's launch punchable but it's like barely so i think if they increased it to 20 a spin is also a move that this is where I'm going to start defending my character like crazy. Okay, like the flash can be destroyed. You could do whatever you want to his low unblockable sword. You could do whatever you want to his wall tech, to his combo damage, to his Oki. But his spin is like, I got to draw the line somewhere. And I draw it at the spin. I feel like people want to take everything from the character. And like, I get in trouble for saying that's not okay. Let's just say Yoshimitsu has 10 things that he does wrong. You give all 10 of those to, to the developers and you say, please remove like seven. That's fine, fair. But if you say all 10 needs to go, that's just not a fair argument. I, I like this video because he is simply laying out the problems of the characters and he is not trying to pretend like he knows how to fix it. He is just saying this move is powerful and then he moves on and say this move is powerful. What I dislike is the people who think that they can balance Yoshimitsu and say 1-1 one, one should not be safe, I think. Especially with his sword away. Yoshimitsu's 1-1 one, one is OP. I, I, I'm not saying it's not OP. This is what people don't understand. There is a wrong way to balance a character. Making 1-1 one, one punishable is the wrong way to nerf that move. You nerf that move by taking away the counter hit, taking away the life, taking away the healing, taking away the combo. 
that's how you nerf it not by making it punishable so look at this little knockdown that this move does that right there so victor hits the ground like this and he's going to flip over that flip over allows multiple characters to get crazy combos after the wall and do crazy oki things after like that animation and once again yoshimitsu is the is a perfect character that highlights why is this flip over is stupid this knockdown animation is the problem and yoshimitsu is a character who could take advantage of it the best this is why i don't play technique i really don't play technique bro i really don't I really don't. You guys think like I sit here and cope for Yoshi, but I don't. When you get hit down like this, no character in the game should be able to run up and get a mix up, guaranteed follow up or nothing. No character should be able to do that, but many characters can and Yoshimitsu can do it the best.